guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have an unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 June Sci-Fi Block. Got this block in today. It ships pretty quickly. I thought they didn't even... You can still get this block, I think. You can still order it. I think there's a couple more days left, so I was excited to get it this early, but... Let's see what's inside. Uh, if you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you once you cut the tape and you open up the box. This is what you're gonna see. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited. This, the box does look a little bit sparse this month. There's only a few items in here. Oh, there's a little bit more, okay. So we're gonna put the shirt aside. The first item that we got is, this is a sci-fi block exclusive. It's from Alien, so it's uh, Aliens versus Colonial Marines. And they're basically little army men and then little alien dudes. Black is the alien, green is the army men. Eh. Next, we got this tin. What does that say on there? Cafe 80s. Do not open until 1985. Okay, so this is oh, a set of coasters. Oh, they're nice coasters. So I'm pretty sure these are from Back to the Future, just going based off of the actual tin can. Is this a Futures coaster set? Yes. So here we go. It comes with four coasters, and these are nice coasters. They have cork. They're basically metal on the top and cork on the bottom. This is one, basically it's like a Pizza Hut one, and it says half pepperoni, half green pepper. Remove from foil, rehydrate for two seconds. We got Visit Hill Valley, your future is here. There's that one. We have Shield Eyes from the Light, or from Light. And then we have Biff's Pleasure Paradise. So it's a set of coasters from, I believe, Back to the Future. These are nice, I like these. And I like the tin case that it came with. Sometimes we get really janky coasters. I'm glad that we don't. The next item we got is a Funko Pop, and it's from Independence Day, and we got Jake Morrison. Now, this is from the new Independence Day. They have, you know, the sequel to the old Independence Day, which I love that movie. Um, this is, it's called Independence Day Resurgence. I've only seen trailers for this, so I don't know too much about it. It kind of looks like the old Independence Day, but with, like, new characters basically like the kids of the old characters i think all right next we got a comic book this is a comic block exclusive and it's from battlestar galactica uh dynamite one shot so there that is and there's the comic block exclusive wait why is this a comic block exclusive in my sci-fi block see this is what i don't like is sometimes they'll interchange their comic books but it's like is this gonna come in one of my comic blocks or has it come in one of my comic blocks because i have received a couple comics that were duplicate because i have all of their boxes so i'm not a huge fan of that and this is a very uh, this is a very uh short comic book it's not very many pages long but it is colored, which is nice, and it's full-page graphics and whatnot, so not a terrible comic book. All right, next we have a Back to the Future print. This is what it looks like. This is really, really cool. Uh, it says, you made a time machine out of a DeLorean? Limited edition 30th anniversary lithograph. So there you have it. It is on nice cardstock, which is nice. I actually really like this. This is cool. I actually like this. This is cool. Oh, look. We got another HelloFresh coupon. <laughs> oh, and then before we do the card, let's do the shirt. This is a like royal blue shirt. It's a shirt punch shirt. Gildan medium. Heavy cotton. What does it say? Jurassic Pops. Hammond's Jurassic Pops. 65 million years in the making. Free claw inside. That's awesome. So this is basically a, a mashup of uh, Kellogg's Pops and Jurassic Park. This is cool. I like Jurassic Park. I did not like Kellogg's Pops. I think they taste terrible. Before we do the recap card, let's see what they have in here. Factory Entertainment, I think this is. 15% off for Nerd Block when you spend $50 Subscribers for Nerdblock subscribers when you spend fifty dollars at factoryent.com. The code is nerd sixteen if you want it. Uh, I've never been to this website, so I don't know if it's a good one. I mean, it, it looks like a cool website, I guess. The print that we got is from this company, 
So that's pretty cool. Uh, July's sci-fi block is gonna bring you an item from Ghostbusters! And... NASA and Star Trek. Here's a $10 credit. Uh, a new card delivered monthly. Click the set to receive a $100 shirt punch gift card. Oh, so it's like a puzzle. Okay, that's kind of cool. I was going to give you guys the code on here, but I really want to try to collect this puzzle, so I'm going to put that down there. All right, let's go ahead and do a recap. Ow, I just scratched my forehead. Ow. Ow. Ugh. The first item we have is our Jurassic Pops t-shirt. Count Chocula has nothing on us. So this is, of course, a Jurassic Park and Kellogg's Pop mashup. That's pretty cool. It's not my favorite shirt ever, but I usually get a lot of shirts on Shirt Punch that I'm not a huge fan of, so I'm okay with that. Next, we've got the exclusive Aliens vs. Colonial Marines Army Men. This product, it's cool, especially if you like aliens. I'm not a huge fan of aliens, but I don't know, guys. We're getting to the point where we're sticking Army Men in a bag, and then we're calling it an exclusive. I'm not sure about that. Next, we have our Battlestar Galactica comic book. Continue to with with their block only exclusive variant comic. Again, this is a comic block exclusive, not a sci-fi block exclusive. So there's that. We got our exclusive Back to the Future 4-pack coaster. So I got that one right. That was cool. Um, water and table exclusive coasters span the decades. Uh, I like these items only because at least we got really, really good coasters, and they're Back to the Future themed, so you really can't beat that. And then we got our Back to the Future DeLorean art print. I actually really enjoy this a lot. Great, Scott. It may not be the real thing, but this pop art DeLorean print makes an excellent piece to hang on your wall, or even reference for the real one you're building in your garage. So there's that. I really like this. I like retro things that look like this. I love the colors. And then the exclusive item, it's not an exclusive, I take that back, sorry. The item of the month is our Independence Day Resurgence. You could have either gotten Jake Morrison or David Levinson. I kind of wish I would have gotten David Levinson only because I like him a little bit better, but that's okay. I'm down for that. I'm glad that we got a Funko Pop. This guy actually has some pretty good detail for a Funko Pop. I don't know if you can see his body and his shoes and stuff, but not too bad. And then these are the ones that come in the series. All right, that is all of your items. I found my calculator. Woohoo! Let's go ahead and do some pricing. Uh, shirt, we're going $10. Funko Pop, we're gonna go $10. Battlestar Galacta, let's go $3. It's a little bit small, and I'm not a huge fan that it's a comic block exclusive and not specifically a sci-fi block exclusive since, hello, this is a sci-fi block. Uh, these things, okay, the one cool thing about this is that they do come with alien versions of the army men, but at the end of the day, these are army men. You could probably get these at the dollar store, but I'll give them $3 for this since they have little alien ones in here. These coasters are really, really cool. I enjoy these a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and give these $5. I actually really like the quality. You could probably give that a lot more, but I'm gonna give it five. And then this print, I usually give prints a dollar, but I really like this print a lot. This is probably one of my favorite prints that I've ever received. So I'm gonna give that $2. Again, you could probably give it more, but it's just something that's printed on cardstock, so I'm sure that they just mass produce this. All right. At the end of the day, according to my pricing, I think this box is worth $33. I pay $28 for this box, so that is $5 over the amount that I paid for it. So $5 extra value that I got. Again, you probably could have given a little bit more for the print, a little bit more for the coasters. I mean, at most, you might have been able to give a dollar extra for the comic book, but I just don't think that that's worth it. And the Army Men, I just wouldn't feel comfortable giving this any more than $3, because it's literally Army Men. And same thing that NerdBlock always does is they just give us some generic crap and they put their little logo on it and they say this is an exclusive so I'm not a huge fan of that that's always my biggest pet peeve with this box and my pop my Funko pop box is dented and bent up good thing I'm not that serious of a collector if I had to rate this box I like the items in it I like the types of items they gave I don't like the value as much I feel like again this box should be getting a lot more value uh, for the amount that I'm paying for it but if I had to rate this box, I would probably give it a, I'd probably say a, I'd probably say 3.75 out of 5 noobs. The things I'd like to see better from it are more value. If you're going to give me an exclusive item, like give me better exclusive items. It's again, literally with Nerd Block, and I know some of you guys like it, some of you guys don't, and I've liked it in the past. When I get really 
great items that I like. I'm a fan of it. But a lot of times they give us these generic exclusives that they make and they're just not that great. And I kind of feel that way for some of the stuff in this box. You might be able to give it a four. I'm, I'm debating between a 3.75 and a four, but with, because the value is so low, I wanna say 3.75. If it had a teeny bit better value, I'd probably give it a four. Yes! All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was my 2016 June sci-fi block unboxing. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. I feel like my rating right now is like my rating system is all over the place because it's so I try to be a little bit more consistent with how I rate and it's just kind of the point where like I just blurt out the number that I feel but at the end of the day I guess that's what a rating system is right I'm not rating it for the amount that you're gonna like it I'm rating it for the amount that I like it and that's just constantly gonna change based off of my mood which probably isn't great since I have a YouTube channel where I unbox things. But, you know, you guys can see what's in the box and make your own judgment on it. But let me know what you guys thought about this box. What would you rate this box? And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. I just want to say, because I know a lot of you guys have been commenting to me, you know, I've been getting a lot more subscribers than I've ever gotten in the past like really quickly and I don't want to complain because it's a great again it's a great problem to have but I am a little bit backlogged so I spent like hours writing all of these and making more pages for myself so if you have subscribed to me within the past I don't know like two or three or four weeks you probably haven't appeared on my thank you to subscribers page but just be patient because hopefully you will be coming up soon all right guys Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and I will see you guys later. Bye!